Welcome back. I haven't seen you in a while. Where you been? You're probably wondering why I have glitter all over my face. Well, I'll tell you why. It's from this beautiful painting I just finished. Yes, I used liquid watercolors to complete this, and I did Sharpies. I'm like the Sharpie queen. I had a blast making this project. I can't wait to show you how to make this in the next clip. What you're gonna need are two types of Sharpies, a thin and a thick Sharpie, a pencil to break up your space with. If you really wanna practice before you start designing, you can use this practice sheet. I will put this template in the description below. Also, you're gonna need this African-inspired pattern sheet. This is great for ideas. You don't have to copy exactly what you see, but use what you have, all right? These are great for just plugging in different patterns, all right? Now with your pencil, you're going to have to break up your space into six different sections, and think about like a half curve of a rainbow, right? And just go in and make sure every little section is about the same distance from each other, and your lines start and stop from one end of the paper all the way to the other end of the paper. And just kind of crop off that corner, boom, one, two, three, four, about five different lines. When you're done, then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna retrace those lines with a thick Sharpie, and then you're just gonna plug in these patterns. Another thing you need to know are you're using thick and bold black lines. The key with this design is choose one element and repeat it all throughout one section. Then you get another element and repeat it, and then you just keep repeating. Now, the objective of this painting project is to get the whole thing colored in using different colors for each band. One, two, three, four, five, six different colors should be used in your design. If you wanna go with the rainbow spectrum like the student did, go for it. But if you wanna go a little bit above and beyond, you can go ahead and not only just color different bands different colors, but choose separate shapes to color in different colors if you wanna go above and beyond. Now, in this first section, I have the game plan of maybe coloring these triangles one color and the background a different color. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my tiny brush out the water, kinda of wipe off the excess water, go into the color that I'm gonna choose from. Looks like I'm gonna use a little bit of my yellow. Because I'm using the glitter watercolors, I kinda of stir it up so the glitter is kinda of stirred and mixed into the watercolor. My paintbrush is dry. I hold my paintbrush nice and uh, lightly. You don't want to press down on the bristles. You just want to let that watercolor just glide onto your paper. I always like to tell my students when you're painting, try to pretend you're holding a feather in your hand and um, it'll come out perfectly. It just don't press down and mash your brush, right? This is called mashing. We're not mashing, we're just gonna draw and paint lightly. Now I'm happy with this color, I'm just gonna clean my brush out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and paint super fast. Guys, I'm finished. This is life for me right now. You guys at home, take all the time you need, but if you're in class doing this and you only got like 30 minutes to paint this, let me show you what you really should paint. Super easy, just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different colors, and you will be done. Also, I do a lot of fun art projects inspired by African art. Go ahead and check out the couple clips up there below. Feel free to use my templates, feel free to use my pattern sheets. Just have the kids practice and have fun. I'll see you guys next week, all right? Have a great day.